I was attracted to architecture initially because I wanted a career where I could express myself creatively. Even if it wasn't um, in a way that was like completely free, um, but it was also because um, architecture has a lot of social implications. And so um, it was nice to kind of be able to create something that could, that people could live in, that people could experience, and that people could enjoy. I thought that by coming into architecture, I was kind of sacrificing my other interests. But then I realized coming to a program, it's like, no, I can really, really apply um, my interest of writing, my interest of publications. And right now I'm editing the school publication. So that's an opportunity that I wouldn't have had had I not come to Carleton and not been in architecture. I honestly don't think I would have been able to finish um, my four years here had it not been for the network of friends that I've made. The students kind of provide like a whole entire kind of source of knowledge that you don't necessarily have through your profs and so you do a lot of kind of informal learning through them. We have our students association and part of that is every year they match upper year students with first year students and the first week during Frosh Week there's one day where you visit your faculty, you, they're introduced to the profs and then afterwards there's normally a pizza party and you get to meet the older students and you're matched up with one. So right off the bat, you don't have to go and try to find someone. There's someone there that's like, hi, I'm willing to help you. Um, university, especially architecture, is a four-year process. It's not about where you stand in, in each individual class. It's more kind of just like having the opportunity and having the ability to um, look back at the end of each year and understand like where your strengths are, like how far you've grown, and still how much you have to learn. It does still have its competitive elements. But a huge part of architecture is you learn from each other. The reason we're putting studios together is because it's not enough that one person knows how to do something. Is if you're being creative and if you have ideas, you really feed off of each other. There's a variety of skills that each person had to offer, and it's you kind of realize that um, the skills that you have coming in and the skills that you develop is really based upon how much you want to put in, but also. Um, we kind of look towards the community kind of for inspiration. The Carlton community is really welcoming. There's intramurals. If you like sports, there's clubs everywhere. And once you step outside of it, you meet so many new people. Even in your electives, if you sit next to someone new, you start a conversation and you're able to make friends. And I found, actually, with most of the friends I have outside of the program, they really love coming into the architecture building and being around the atmosphere here so a lot of the time it's not even leaving your bubble is being able to introduce it to new people. Camille and I have different streams so she's in urbanism whereas I'm in design and a good thing about that is we were learning different things. We were focusing on different things so we've come full circle now to the point where if I need advice or if I need help I know I can go to her and she's going to offer me a completely different perspective. Like friendships are based upon kind of like supporting each other and, and it continues because there's, there's like a very acute understanding between all the students in architecture um, that it's not necessarily us against the world, but it's, it's a very, very kind of unique kind of situation, a very unique learning environment that um, you kind of end up kind of like supporting each other even beyond your years at Carleton because you guys just kind of understand each other.